Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was, got really quiet in here for a it second. It did. We're here. We're back. Hello we're there. Hello there. Happy uh, Imperial March. I For real. So exciting. Is it a happy Only, holiday? It is. What is it? It's the March to the, May the 4th. Yeah. The Imperial March to May the 4th, I think, was the official hash, hashtag that we just saw. Yeah. Uh, welcome, so welcome, everybody. Chad, Danny, Carrie, Jeremy, Bad Batch. We've got lots of people on here, so we're we're continuing to do this. It seems to be working where we stream simultaneously on yep. YouTube and on Instagram, which when I was opening up YouTube just now, it was like, hey, you want to try live streaming vertically? I was like, oh, you told me that now. I'm already doing that. A minute beforehand. Well, but it was on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Did oh, I yeah, say yeah. Instagram? It was on YouTube. So I'm very curious, like, how things are going with the future of, like, live streaming and video format and which one's going to win out because I, I YouTube, think the thing is is like we we have it working right we have the different formats for yeah. the different layouts but it would be nice if you could just basically log into all your whatever your accounts and just blast like, it out go go but the thing free. is is like right now youtube prefers a horizontal format versus like instagram or tiktok which it's vertical video. You mm -hmm. want to take up phone, as much yeah. as your. It's on your phone, so you want to take up as much of the the space on your phone as possible. But like TikTok now, it says sometimes if they're in horizontal, you can hit full screen and it turns it horizontal and you turn your phone. Ah. Have you seen that? No. I and now YouTube, it's the opposite. We're saying, hey, do you want to watch live streaming vertically? So now they're wanting you to take your phone, and turn it again. So it's like, which which one are we doing? Because you and I struggle every time we go on a trip. And we're like, we've got to get content or we go like do a ship tour. We got to do something. Well, I mean, but that's the thing. Like you. Hot dogs shoot, and yeah. hamburgers. Yeah. I shoot in hot dogs. You shoot in hamburgers. <laughs> so anyways, that's the uh, little behind the scenes. That's there like go. debating on also, which format. If, but Well, should we? Let me explain hot dogs and hamburgers real quick. Okay. Because I feel like you and I are the only one that, <laughs> that, use that actually use those terms. Um. I mean, to me, it's self-explanatory. A hot dog is this way, and a hamburger is this way. But anytime we say that, they're like, "Really?" Well, but like I would say, landscape or portrait. Hot dogs and hamburgers to me. So. Mary says I watch your live stream on the TV. Oh yes. That's how we watch Hopefully YouTube. Big. Such, we got big faces. Um. So we're like sitting right there with you, Mary. We're just hanging out in your living room. Sorry. Like just pull up a chair like right here. Up. And then we could high five just each right other. There. <laughs> For an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> hold hands. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, so it's been two weeks since our last live stream. Sounds like a confession. It does. It does. Um, and we, so should we catch up on the last? I didn't put earrings on. Oh, no. No. Start the live stream over. Um. So should we catch up on our last last episode episode or do you want to just like go straight into all the resties? No, I, I think uh, we catch up. OK. And because that's that's our typical format. So we could keep that catch up real quick. Talk about the cruise and how we talked about the cruise. How we talked about the cruise. Talk about the news, which includes cruising and the cruise. What news? About the cruise. I don't know what you're talking about. The Disney Destiny. Oh, no, we haven't like talked about Like the actual that. cruise. Yeah. So like news about the cruise. Um, and then yes, some, other, yes. some other fun stuff that's going on. It's been a Star Wars filled week. It is I, all Star Wars it, all the time. It Again, it's it almost feels like feast or famine with Star Wars. Really, though? Right? Yeah. Like we, we get a whole bunch and we're like, oh, yes, we love it. And then there's that dive into like nothing yeah it's uh like, come on like just, just pace it out a little bit just a little bit it's it's a little bit of this i, I got on that out. side i got i got on that too some some uh some story <laughs> about uh. the helmet oh my gosh it's a non-story you were just talking about hot dogs and hamburgers you need ketchup mm -mm. <laughs> we are a ranch household yeah. You like ketchup. Yeah, I do. Uh, so let's talk about the last episode. So okay. it was about 
the Wish Upon a Star Cruiser cruise. Yeah. And we were, we had every intention beforehand before we recorded it and like, you know, even on the cruise of, we want to talk about the cruise itself, what happened on it, just kind of break down like almost scene by scene, if you will, like each day, all of the things that happened. But then we're like, well, we could do that. But really like the most important thing that came out of this was just how tight knit and how strong this community is that they're willing to like go on an actual cruise yeah. to hang out together. And it didn't matter that there was, you know, no real st like a st overarching story or characters or any of the things that made Star Cruiser so impactful to us. Everybody still got together and did the swag swaps and all these other things. Um, and just genuinely just enjoyed being in each other's company. And it was absolutely beautiful. Like yeah. where, where does that exist right no, now? No, I mean, I, I think it, it was an overall success. Uh, you know, you, you did the, the, the travel thing, uh, travel agent thing afterwards and sent out the surveys and which I will commend every one of you that went and replied seriously because the, the, like you had a, a good amount of people that replied back to it. And I know as, as someone that does like not me doing surveys, but when you hear people doing surveys, like they want a, at least, you know, 50% reply back or whatever. And like, there's, there's no way you're getting 50%. Usually yeah, it's like depend a, on whatever the survey is. Yeah, like you five know. to 10%, yeah, I think is that, like, that, you know, the, Oh, that's a success. And you had, like more than 50% people. over 50%. It was so. great. Well, here's the thing. It was like, it was hard to gauge because I booked some people, some people booked on their own or with their travel agents. And so I just sent out the link to the survey to my clients because they're the ones that I know, right? Yeah. Um, and then somebody circulated the the survey but elsewhere, which is perfect. Mean, I was going to share the it. the survey, like you have more than the people participating in the survey yeah right? so it was great i'm, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> the more feedback the better honestly because like we want to make it a uh we just want to keep improving and making it more fun each time yeah um i don't want to say better because it was like it was pretty good yeah. and like that's nothing on like we're talking so highly of this thing and it's like it's nothing on us yeah. <laughs> it was the people that made it amazing um but yeah the do you want to talk about the feedback that we got uh they the the very or the most interesting feedback. And it was something that we kind of knew going in, but it was that the drinks at oh, yeah. hyperspace were very underwhelming. Yeah. And it was kind of those things we knew. Like it the it's not an Ogas. It's not a sublight. This is like the closest thing that we have to Star Wars. And it's mediocre at best it's fine yeah. it's fine it's so it's fine it's fine <laughs> we went in there just because we knew that there was like a bourbon cocktail that we like to drink mm -hmm. in there we prefer like a bourbon well i mean cocktail. and again we they showed up we, we talked about it they we you know the the, the community got every kyber every uh coaxium bought it all out so <laughs> teresa's not enough glitter in the drinks for sure that is true they were lacking in <laughs> glitter Although funny enough, like our bourbon cocktail, the oh the it's ice. Like a blue ice cube, and they had different shapes. So one was like BB-8 or a stormtrooper. Um, it had glitter in the ice. So over time, if you didn't drink it fast enough, you just had like a blue glittery drink. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was so. Some of the feedback was funny and contradictory. Funny because it was contradictory to me. The food was amazing. The food was terrible. The hyperspace was underwhelming. The hyperspace lounge was amazing. But it's like, if it was underwhelming, yes, we agree. It's like a very lightly themed bar. The drinks are fine. Um, the screen is great. But the uh, what makes it great, too, is like the people that you're there yeah. with. And so, so, like a lot of the stuff, like, you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt or the things that are just truly outside of our control. The biggest one was... Um, a lot of people said that they wanted to have a dedicated space yeah, where we could get together for swag swaps, for trivia, for, you know, there was, there were some logistics issues with some of the events that people were trying to coordinate because, and it's, it was impossible and he knew it was impossible 
from the beginning. And so that's why I was like, we, you know, be careful with what you're planning for these things because we don't have a dedicated space. There are things going on during the cruise in these spaces. And so you can only use them when they're not in use. Right. Yeah. Um, and there's no way of knowing when they're going to be available until you're on the cruise and you can see the itinerary. So we were having to be very like careful about where we did things. And if we had a dedicated space, that would have been great. None of the Disney cruise ships have conference spaces. So if that's one of the biggest pieces of feedback, I don't know that the next one would be a Disney cruise. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's where we kind of just look at the next, you know, just take it in and, and kind of roll with it and see, you know, go from there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, again, it, I, I think it was overall a success. Uh, it's, you know, it, it it's exciting for, you know, the, the next the next one. Yeah. That type of thing, so. Yeah, no, it was... It was good. We had some more feedback, too, about, like, being more structured with planning oh, different yeah. events and those types of things. But really, like, to me, the whole spirit of getting a gr big group of people like this together is everybody can bring what they want to bring to it. Like, nothing is mandatory. It's all optional. But if somebody, like, really wants to do a trivia or something, like, do a trivia or somebody yeah. wants to do a scavenger hunt, like... Go do I, a scavenger But I think hunt. on that, we were really at the mercy of not having a space. Yeah, if we had a space, it would have been so much easier. So um, that's that's where we, we have to just kind of, you know. Right. Make but, um, it work. Make I it am, work. Make it work. So Tim Gunn. <laughs> uh, I'm also of the opinion that when I'm just like not that creative, and so I don't want to be the one responsible for <laughs> doing all the fun stuff because nobody will have fun. Um, so let other let the people that are good at it do it, and we can just like hopefully find a place for people to do that. And it also gives people like a like a platform to be to be creative. Yeah. That in places that they may not, you know, like say you're doing a scavenger hunt, you may not have a bunch of people that are into the same thing as you where you live that are willing to like meet up and go do a scavenger hunt. Like here you get that Avenue and that's cool. Yeah. So Chad says, Stan, San Fran, explore Andor and Naboo might be an idea. Ooh. Yeah. And then Kat says it was hard to communicate with others because of their <laughs> wife. Yes. I think. Yeah. I think that was another big piece of feedback we got was the, um, the comms, the comms. Cause there was, the Facebook group, there was like a messenger chat. There was some people were connected over like the Disney cruise line app. And then there was a WhatsApp group, but the WhatsApp group, like, I don't know that everybody knew about it. I don't know that everybody signed up. I didn't sign up for yeah. it. Um, Cause I don't want my phone number <laughs> out there. Like just truly, honestly, like I didn't want to put my phone number out there. And two, like I, I didn't set that one up. I didn't want to say like, here, this is where we're going to be posting all this official yeah. stuff either. Um, so yeah, it was, it's just, it, again, it's just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Ash says, where's the goblin? The goblin was here like 45 minutes ago. The goblin had to go check out of work. Yeah. Clocked out for the night. We'll be back in goblin mode as soon as the stream is over. It's all coming <laughs> off. <laughs> A day at sea would be good since we could hang out more without having excursions. Oh yeah. That was, that was the other big piece of feedback was a longer trip. A longer Longer trip. Well, I mean, it's it's Star Cruiser. Everybody's like, it's just a little bit longer. It was one more day than you got on Star Cruiser. <laughs> but but I agree. I mean, like it was busy, and that was kind of our our gripe with when we went on the cruise by ourselves is you're busy with excursions or you know you're off the boat during the day, and so then by the time you get back and you get like washed up and ready for dinner and the show and everything else, it's just like. Boom. Everything happens at once and then it's over. Yeah. And you can't spread things out. So if you have like days at sea or you have other, it's just a longer itinerary, then you can get more things done. Obviously, you have more time. Yeah. But we're working on it. Yeah. I think I have a good, I think I've got some good stuff in the works right now. It's, uh, we're making progress over yeah. here. Let's I, say that. I think, it, I think it was, it went, it went well. It was fun. Um, but, we came back. We did. And spring break happened. And we kind of took like a little a little fam trip to... Uh, oh, we went on a secret trip. <laughs> no, but it, it was like for the kids. Because like we drug them along. For the children. Uh, drug them along on the cruise. And I know. then we decided, you know what? It's their spring break. So let's go and uh, 
go to Disney, and we hung out there for a couple of days, and we ran into some some people. They, there were some people in here that we hung out with that happened to be in town at the same time, or just local friends. Um, there were people we didn't plan to hang out with that we ran into in the parks, and they're like, "What are you doing?" Here? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, "Well." You got us. Uh, that's always fun, just running to, like, wait a minute. Yeah, it was like a double take. You didn't ever said you were going to be here. I know. Even some of our friends that we did hang out with, they were like, uh, hey, we're, we're going to go. We're here, Galen, we're here. We're here. They were like, uh, Galen, or Galen, uh, we were going to go hang out with some friends, and <laughs> they were like, no, they're not in town. Sarah didn't post about it. They're not in town. I was like, oh, no, we're in town. We just did, like, it was like a true vacation and i think here's where things get weird it's like what we do like a lot of the trips that we go on are usually around an event that we're helping to coordinate or well usually that we're helping coordinate or like conferences like travel agent conferences or conventions or those types of things and so this one was just like truly like we are just going to disney to just go yeah, hang we, out with our kids and it was wonderful we didn't post at all yeah that we were there we still got yeah i'm 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 always in that mindset of I need to get B-roll, so I was like still. Did you go get B-roll? Yeah, I just got a couple shots of things. Oh. So trying things out, you know. Galen made it. There she yeah. is. Maestro, um, we see you over here. But yeah, it was it was a good time. It was it was different because we didn't post anything. We didn't have a real structure. We just kind of. I think that was the big thing is typically when we go for work, it's like you're – and packing you're on a tight was so schedule. easy. You're, you're tight. You're on a tight schedule. Yeah, there was no <laughs> was costumes. So it it really felt like we were missing something. It, was, it definitely went. Packing was so much easier. Yeah, it was great. It, we didn't start packing until like five hours before the <laughs> flight. <laughs> well, because like you don't have to pack a, pa a costume, no armor, nothing. So Just throw everything no, in. No boots. We knew we wanted to go do a like a nice dinner one night, and so we planned for that although i forgot to bring nice shoes so i'm just rocking my sneakers <laughs> that was all right kept it loose kept um, it loose but then when we came back this is when all the star wars started happening oh boy or i guess there was a little bit of cruise stuff but they announced the yeah. disney destiny yeah so we can get into the destiny um it is the sister ship. I think there's only three in this class, but it's the Disney Wish, the Disney Treasure, Treasure and the Disney Destiny. Um, they're all the same It's the layout. same layout. I think a lot of elements are probably still going to be the same, but different colors, different this, different that. Um, different statue. No different sense. statue. No, uh, this is going to be Captain Minnie on the, the back of the ship. Instead of like Rapunzel on the wish. Um, but it's the Disney Destiny. I think it's a great name. Because you think about all of the other ships. There's Wish, Dream, Magic, Wonder, Treasure. Like they're nice, but they're all kind of the same. Destiny feels like a little bit different. Um, and the theme is heroes and villains. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. But what what would be a great IP? Heroes and villains. I mean, that really lends itself to Star Wars. But too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen like much Star Wars. We so as soon as the news dropped, we we still have a like a fairly active group, like group chat of Star Cruiser people. Um, and it just like rant and riot like all day. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough Star Wars representation Not at enough. Disney. Well, because, yeah. I think that's what it is. Just like there's not enough star. Like when Disney announces something, they always need to announce something Star Wars, and that's not always the case. And then again, we just like to poke and prod each other and get each other riled up. We got each other riled up, so then we all started posting about it online too, and like getting ever all of everybody else riled up with us. And and then, but here was the interesting thing. So initially, they said it was going to be Disney, Pixar, and Marvel. That's like the three of the four. The only one that's missing is Star Wars. So then we all go out and like rant about it on the internet. And later that day, the website now has and Star Wars. <laughs> but I think we kind of came to the the consensus is probably just the the cargo bay. Like it's gonna they're gonna keep that the kids club area. Yeah. 
So that way it's like, so. here's Star Wars for you. Man. We checked the box. Yeah. That, can we just like, can we I, rant I go about to happy, it some more? I want to go to happy Star Wars talk. Let's Is rant it? about it a little. Okay. Let's okay. Not rant. I'll, I'll let you let. Let's, let's dream. I'll let you go. Let's let you dream go a little bit. Right? Okay, to see if this is our destiny. This is our destiny. <laughs> Imagine a dinner show about heroes and about villains. I mean, it that's that would be incredible. It would be amazing. So replace like the World of Marvel show. Okay. Because technically there was a like a there's you know strife in I, there. I I would probably replace the Arendelle one. But that's I just would me. very much replace the Arendelle one, <laughs> and I would bring some Star Cruiser food and bring in blue shrimp. Ooh, that could be good. Some bantha beef. Bring Betty in to supply just some night blue two milk with all the. Oh yes, yes, yes. Seven yes. Uh, courses. Troths of mac and cheese. I mean, they could. Oh god. But yeah, you could do a Gaia dinner show. You could, and you could literally, you could straight up do the Gaia dinner show, and that's heroes and villains right there. Yeah. You could do the condensed version. You could do, you could do so much. With, even don't even include. You know what? And I'm, I know people are going to be angry. Don't even include Star Cruiser stuff. Yeah. You could do other. You could do anything else that is Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner show would be dope. Um, I don't even want to suggest a bar because they tried a bar and it's it was it's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do make a better bar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bespin dinner would be nice. Oh, imagine that! Like you could just see like the, like kind of Cloud City, like in the clouds, out the window. That would be cool. But even if it was like a like um yeah, like you were saying the night two dinner where it's like we're touring all these different planets and you could have characters from those planets come walk around too, at that time. Yeah. I don't know. I just. Something Look, I, I try not to get too much into it. Cause a show, a full show, no. right? Because they've got the theater. They have to have three shows that they put on. In the whole, the big theater? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. I'm dreaming here. Okay, that, yeah, you, you're dreaming for sure. How about a Star Wars, how about Star Wars themed rooms? That's mm, so easy. No. It's so easy, though. Um, No. It would be so what type of room did we have? What was our theme on the last one? What do you mean? What was our room theme to? Our room? Yeah. Um, Cinderella? Yes, it was. But it took you a while to like yeah. remember that. So imagine just like a very lightly themed Star Wars room. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to know. <laughs> uh Settle for a lounge. A Star Wars musical. Yeah. A it, Max Rebo dinner show. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so we, we exactly like it was just dreams of what it could be. And we could just like, I think that's just a, a <sighs> we could theorize and, and wish all we want. Ugh. But Let's see what you did there. Um, but it would have been nice. It would be nice if we had some some kind of representation. Uh, I agree. I mean, it would be, but. But not anymore. Yeah. So that was yesterday, the Disney Destiny news. Today, but a couple of days ago was the Acolyte. We didn't. Okay, yeah. So, it's, well, you jumped into the yeah, cruise. Sorry. Let's talk about the Acolyte. 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 The Acolyte. The Acolyte. The one Acolyte. But is it the Acolyte, like, kind of like the Jedi, where it's like multiple sir i don't know the meaning of the word well you know how there's a jedi and no i like i literally jedi. don't know what acolyte means oh <laughs> <laughs> do you in i think in this sense it's they're they're uh collectors oh is it really yeah what are they collecting i think relics horcruxes that's my how theory. do you know this this is my from theory. you reading the book so yeah i i just finished Shadows of the Sith. Based off of your recommendations, whoever was in here when we were talking about strand casts, they only said the word strand cast maybe <laughs> twice in that book. They didn't talk anything about clones. So I want my refund 
but also I appreciate the recommendation. Keep uh, recommending books. Um, yeah, you've been on it for books. But in in the book, they talk about it's they called them the acolyte of some other another term, and I've completely for, you know forgot to look it up. Um, Brent says, "Yeah, see the Mandalorian group of people. See." So it says a person assisting the celebrant in a religious service or procession or an assistant or follower. Okay, so it's a follower. But it, it also kind of seems a little bit religious. So Therese says means an assistant to a leader, basically. Mm. Um, so. <sighs> to his right, acolytes. Let me, let me go to the, the internet. Uh, Shadow of the Sith, they talk about the acolytes of something. Because there's two characters that they used to be, or they were the acolytes of whatever. Okay. And um, one no longer follows, and so she had white lightsaber or a white lightsaber, and then there was another one that was, and she was the main uh, bad guy in that one. So okay. I think this is kind of the what I'm the the way the wording. Is and and this is you know we could we could talk we could discuss this. Okay. Is I don't think this is necessarily um, the Sith because this is a High Republic end of High Republic. I don't think this is necessarily the Sith. I think it is more of this third party that. And again, that's where I think of like the Horcruxes because that's what the book did. Like one of the people had a mask. That basically channeled the a past force user through that mask, and that's how they were able to get that power. Ooh. It is about the power, and it's them not because the force is always about balance. It's not necessarily about good and evil. It's more of just kind of this, uh, or it, it not good and evil, but it's just like the Sith and the Jedi we're assuming are the good and bad. Right. But it's it's a balance, and that's why. We probably are going to learn a little bit more why the Sith are two because they felt that it's the distribution of that power. So that Sith is going to be, you know, controlling more of that evil power, you know, that balance. Like if two people are consuming all the power, yeah. they are Which is not the case. Than... That's, that's not the way the Force works. That's not how the Force works. Uh, but it's going to be more about that. But it's these this, the Acolyte, is, you know, the those people are going to be more of like, Hey, why are you guys so special? Why do you, you know, it's like one of those type of things. Yeah. Like they're normal people that say you don't deserve to have the force. Like Avengers. Um, Where it's like superheroes can't just go running around ruining doing, cities and doing whatever they yeah. want. They need to be held accountable. Uh, yeah. But like the Star Wars version of that. Yeah. Uh, that's that's my thinking. Uh, uh, over on Instagram, it says. Steven, your theory makes sense because the High Republic has established there are dark other dark side groups in existence at the time. So we're going to learn a lot about an entirely different this group. Is, this is going to be like, and, and I think one of the main things that I've, I've read the first two books, but at this time, the High Republic, this is when the Jedi are very... Uh, Full of themselves. Yeah, they're, they're very, you know, that's why they, they're very ornate and they're just kind of like... We're the ones controlling. Flashy. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, everything. So. I love that you read these books. Yeah, me too. Because I don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I have the capacity um, to read them. Like the brain power. Power in the trailer. There is a cult in the show that they show like super, super briefly. Yeah. Um. Here's the thing. I don't know enough about like pre prequels, Star Wars, like you. And this is why I love Ooh, that you wait. I'm not sure who can who can use slash should use the force is driving theme of the whole. I mean, okay. So see, thank you, Please thank do. you. Um, I think that's the thing is like these are gonna be people that are like, why are you so special that you get to control and and use it and whatever. Mm. Okay, but yeah, I'm glad that you read the books because you'll recap them to me, oh, and I'm, I'm just like, oh. This is nice to know, but I you you listened or read the yeah. whole book and you just tell me in like a nice like ten minute synopsis. 
So let me see. He says that there's a uh, there could be a path of the open hand connection. Okay. And then Trinity gets Neo level matrix powers. Yep. Uh, that was dope. That was dope. She uh, looks well, amazing this too. Is, and okay, so I am so excited for this because when I think, you know, it, I may seem childish because this is Star Wars to me. Lightsabers and so wielding those lightsabers is Star Wars. Like using the Force, that is Star Wars to me. Like yeah. Mandalorian, you know. I love the mandos and the buckets and armor and stuff like that. I love it. Uh, and or, you know, here's the political rebel, you know, rebellion, building that, you know, why they're doing it, that hope. I get, like, those are all aspects of Star Wars. But the lightsabers and the Force is real close to, like, what I consider Star Wars. So I'm super excited for that. Yeah, but I think when you're saying that it's... And again, I'm generalizing, like, each of these stories, but... Yeah. Each of them hit on what, if you look at the first A New Hope, like, that's what it was. Like, here's that that hope, and that's what Andor is, is building that rebellion. Like, what is actually good and, like, bad, and, you know, why they're doing it, the motivation yeah. for it. But you literally were a child when Star Wars came out, and that's when you, like, fell in love with that's, it. That's the magic. And, like, the magic to you was the Force and lightsabers. Yeah. And really, that's what set it apart from, like, any other heroes and villains or action type sci-fi movie is the lightsabers and the force and cloaks maybe yeah there's lots of others that have yeah, cloaks that's... but like that when you really think about like at the essence of it if you're playing like a, a board game and you have to guess star wars using one word you're gonna say lightsaber lightsaber yeah like that sums up star wars completely and like you said there's other good ones like andor is a good story but it doesn't feel like a star wars story necessarily uh yeah i mean as far as like in that sense we're gonna see a purple lightsaber again and yellow the yellow ones oh. but seriously there were so many lightsabers in that one shot when they were in the forest and yeah. it was just like whoa You're like oh it's, it's exciting i don't can i be real with you for a second just be real i don't like trailers <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, too stupid for them. Like it cuz it's they rarely will show like kind of the the what's it called? The the rule or the standard in any kind of like show is 3 second shots, right? Like you have to keep changing the shot or the angle of the shot every 3 seconds to keep people's attention on it. But on a trailer and they have like 2 hours for a movie, on a trailer you have like 1 to 2 minutes. And so it's constantly like it is split split second shots because they also don't want to show too much. Yeah. But it just feels like and then it's over and you're like, I, I never like I rarely will watch a trailer and be like, oh, that was so dope. Because I'm like, I can't I literally cannot process fast enough all of the things that I just saw. I, I, I think it's for me, it's the opposite. Like here's a if they could do a decent job of the trailer and hook me, then OK, like. Even if it's a pro it could be a bad movie, if the trailer is pretty decent, I'll watch it. I was like, okay, they had somebody really do a good trailer. I'm gonna watch it. Now I do like watching trailers for the beginning, like in the beginning of a movie when you go see trailers and you're like forced to watch them, and it looks like it's gonna be a crappy movie, and they just show you the entire movie in a trailer. I love that. I see. Because I'm like, I know now. I know everything that happens. But that that's not a good trailer no but it's not a good movie so it's okay <laughs> yeah i i think that's that's where that's where they do themselves a disservice because they're like you already they're already saying it's a bad movie and they're just here's the story they're giving so away too like, much it gives why, away way why, too much why do i go watch it like yeah. i already know the the ending yeah it's gonna be a, it's a rom-com it's gonna yeah. be a happy ending but yeah i with trailers and a like specifically with the acolyte, this is a time frame that I know nothing about. No, I don't know. There are. I mean, there's, there's again, people know the High Republic, but this, this is going to be the beautiful thing about this is, it, this is all new. There's probably no Skywalkers in it. There's not going to be any, you know, anything. Nothing that we know. There may be similar species. There's going to be lightsabers. I, it's going to be like going into Yoda Mando. could be there, but I think they're just going to. 
I have a feeling they're just going to avoid it completely. I would rather them not do that yeah. because I feel like whenever they do these cameos, kind of like having Darth Vader in Rogue One, it was like we have to have somebody in here that somebody yeah. recognizes besides Krennic. Like, I don't like that. Yeah. Like, don't no, give I, me a I, cameo I don't, I don't think to so. I, get I think, me excited. I think they're going to avoid it and just go with what they, uh, you know, with what they got. Yeah. Therese, good trailers get me excited but also make me nervous. If there's a really good trailer, like um, the new Ninja Turtles movie, like that trailer was really good and we watched it probably long Again, enough it that you, it was like we could have watched the entire the movie, movie. <laughs> in the time we watched all those trailers back to back. But it got you excited for it. But some of the like trailer styles, they're and just it, And so it completely didn't like ruin, didn't ruin it at all. Yeah. That was a great trailer. Yeah. But some of these, they're just like, it happens all too fast. And you're just like, I can't, I can't so process see my, Oh, Maestro says, Yoda's the only character from the Skywalker saga who could be in it. And he's huge in the High Republic. So <sighs> maybe, maybe they do. I, I, I would, I would want them to stay away from it. But if he is a big part of it. I guess. I mean, if it makes sense, like if he's, if he is big in the High Republic, then yes, it makes sense to have Yoda in it. But if they're just throwing him in just to throw him Bob. in. Bob. <laughs> uh, this is, Okay. <laughs> Bob, it was funny, right? It's I I get it, but I'm gonna say the yeah, trailer say it came out. out loud, okay, so Bob Instagram says the youngling with no eyelids being told to close your eyes. So the trailer's like close your eyes. The time, like okay, and that's the thing is we could be the, the there's an alien character that has we're assuming pupils out and there's no lids to cover them right and so there's the the, the joke like the meme that's going around the little post like close your eyes and i can't close my eyes type of thing yeah this is where you're, you're gonna rant now <laughs> yes i'm gonna rant a little bit bob got me started i think this is where sometimes Star Wars fans, we nitpick too much and it turns people off. Yeah. It turns people off from because we, you know, we could look at the trailer and we could talk about, you know, we don't know anything about the story yet, you know, so we're kind of like, oh, maybe it's about this, maybe it's about that. But then when we, Star Wars fans, we like to, Frame by frame, look at each, you know, every little thing, things in the background. There's the guy with jeans. And I think sometimes people get tired of it and they get, they're like, ah, okay. Well, like, like the, the tweet we saw was like somebody hating on Star Wars because of that line, yes. because they showed the the creature with no eyelids when it was saying, close your eyes. And yeah. it was just like, okay, if you're going to pick on something, sure, pick on something, but like can we also just like live (laughs) (laughs) you know so like it's funny it's a good joke and like we know bob didn't mean it in that way like at all but when you're seeing it in the context of like people using something like that to bash star wars it's like okay like yeah yeah so 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 yeah i i dang you bob dang you (laughs) Uh, he was ranting about this i i was we had, we had a whole uh, day of, like, ranting yesterday. I, that I was think it was the, the destiny. It was the destiny. It, it was us. our destiny. Yeah, maybe maybe his, his like, inner light eyes were closed. Yeah. Who knows? We don't know how that that species closes their eyes. Yeah. Maybe those are not even eyes. Maybe those are just, like, lenses. Maybe those are his ears. Like, I can't blink my glasses. Mmm. So, maybe. 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 So... Okay, so we talked about the Acolyte trailer. That was Tuesday, I think that came. Yeah, that was Tuesday. Because that poster. Okay, can we talk about the poster, though? Oh, man. That's I want that ominous. poster, yeah. like, framed. Like, that was so cool. With the lightsaber hilt, and it's, like, dragging the blood into the, the blade of the lightsaber. Or where the blade would be. Yeah. Oh, man. That was super cool. That was super cool. I want to see the whole hilt. The young adult. But, it's, again, it's very ornate. It's like gold, so it's High Republic Jedi, so. Um, Fancy. But yeah, so they dropped the poster on Monday. They dropped the trailer on Tuesday. And then they announced Imperial March. So this is like, it's very 
not sure what it is, but that I think Lucasfilm is doing this new campaign where it's Star Wars leading up to May 4th? May the 4th, yeah. So, But I'm- it wasn't like they did it all at one time. It was just like they Imperial March. And you're like, okay, what is this? And then we start seeing things slowly come out. Yeah, it was... Um it was like trickle. Like we Thanks, saw some. <laughs> um, hey, think the maker is in here. What are you doing in here? So it's Carrie on Carrie Ann Moss's hilt. Interesting. Oh. With the blood. I'm gonna trust you on that because you know way more about that stuff than I do. <laughs> yeah. You're um, the expert. What time zone in, are you in right now? In house expert over here. Think the maker. You in the Philippines? Oh. Indonesia, somewhere. In the morning time, huh? Somewhere on the other side of the world right now, I believe. Um. No, oh, just Justin, are you still there? So Justin is at an event in New York, like an Imperial March type of. Yeah, the one that everybody's seeing. Are you at that event? No, but he's at like a different. I think he's at a different party. Like, there's a lot of parties going on today in New York. Okay, while while we wait. So yes, yesterday they announced okay, he's home now. Um they announced the Disney Destiny, but then they also announced that for seasons of the force in Disneyland, because you can watch the fireworks, the Disneyland fireworks from Bat Two. Yeah. But now, and I think it's so smart, they are doing the um they're gonna have music playing, like Star Wars music playing in Bat Two timed how to easy the fireworks. Was that to do? whole time (laughs) i mean just turn the speaker around and put a different track on for the people that are in batu i'm just saying but yes i'm so happy that i'm I'm still on the uh i think the destiny thing that got me all riled up but i'm glad they're doing it yeah i hope that it is full time did we talk about the the new videos over in uh star tours i don't know that we did so that's coming out too. That's coming out. So Seasons of the Force has a lot of um, change. It's Seasons of the Force. It's only at Disneyland, but there's going to be new things to experience with Star Wars in the parks. They're going to have, it runs the course from like, is it April 5th or April 7th through mid-May? So you're going to have your Star Wars nights, which is your like after hours ticketed event. Um, there's really cool things, which we weren't aware of, but Peter and Kitra were telling us that there's like a... Um, you can learn how to make one of the drinks that they they serve at Oga's. Oh, like a drink tasting thing. It was like a, but it was like a mixology class. Yeah. You learn how to make it, um, but it's a Disney California adventure, not. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not in Oga's or anything. So I thought that was cool. Um, there's three new storylines coming to Star Tours, which is going to be Ahsoka, Mando, and Andor. I think, yeah, and Andor. And then you're going to have the. The fireworks songs, which I hope they keep all the time. Yeah. It would be very, very silly if they didn't. And then today they announced um, a few new things. So like Darth Maul's lightsaber hilt is coming for May the 4th. They're going to. (laughs) You want to tell one of the things you ranted about yesterday when we were like, could we not just have a Star Wars dinner on the cruise ship? Yeah. So we were talking (laughs) about the, the Star Wars dinner and, you know. There was the idea of like, oh, let's have it in on, on indoor. And I was like, yeah, I just want to eat out of a stormtrooper bucket head or, you know, out of a bucket. And then today, sure enough, like they they must be watching the. Our group chat. Our group chat. <laughs> Our private group chat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a, a stormtrooper popcorn bucket. Yeah. Which is so cool. And it's going to come out May 4th. So now we, I don't know, I'm going to have to ask somebody over there, hey, pick me up a bucket. Uh, well it's weird so they said that it was coming to Disneyland on May 4th and then sometime in May to Disney World just do it the 4th (laughs) come on don't give Peter and Kitra any more leverage (laughs) against us (laughs) it's just a popcorn bucket please uh, watch us like start talking about it and then they pop in Kitra was in here they're gonna pop in like did you say something east west Peter will appear (laughs) A wild, Peter. a wild, wild Peter fish will appear soon. I'm sure of it. We've said his name three times now, and we've said <laughs> East 
enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's yeah. that's the big Star Wars news. And then oh, but Darth Maul hilts. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a new line of clothing as well. Well, at the same time, Hasbro came out with their like new line of uh, acolyte stuff, and then their helmet. So annoyed. Oh, I'm so God. so annoyed. But the Moff Gideon helmet was dropping for pre-order, mm -hmm. and you know me, you you guys know me. I'm very punctual, and as soon as it drops, I go put pre-order. Like this, right? like all the ones. So there, I, I have I have them waiting. No, look, there they are. Yeah, right here. Look, see, we got the Carson Tevo on one, the Soka Trooper, um, but the I I had the dentist appointment. We went to go have lunch, and I forgot. And it was sold out on Hasbro. And I was like, crap. So I had to go look to see Entertainment Earth and go check it over there. And I think we ended up uh, pre-ordering it, hopefully, on Amazon. Hopefully, I get it. If not, it's going to be one of those another ones that I don't have. But I'm going to I'm gonna have to get it. So. Now that you say that, I'm like, let me log into our Amazon and make sure because... <laughs> I want to make sure it went through because uh, you were like, I, I, it was getting sweaty. Yeah, uh, yeah. And no, then uh, Nate, thank you, thank you. Roosevelt's, uh, they they had a new drop too. The all the March, the Imperial all March, the, stuff. the baddies. Uh, that Thrawn was pretty cool. Where it's just kind of like a Where's Waldo? It, that's yeah, what it felt like. That's what it felt like. Um, I really like the one that was the the plans. I like that one. Oh, like the blueprints? The teal, yeah, the blueprints. Yeah. Um, and then I really liked the one that they had teased initially where it was like black and red. I forget what was on. It was just like Yeah, there's Darth one that's Maul. like kind of uh It was the Darth Maul one. Kind of it kind of looks like tag like tagging or like graffiti. Mm hmm Uh dark side one. And then there's another one where it looks almost like comic strips. Uh uh, but there's some good ones. And then they're like full tuxes, so we could get a nice little refresh. Yeah, it's been a while since there's been Tuxes, shorts and, like shorts. Shorts and shirt. So just in time for uh uh summertime. Summer season. Although, look. The bounty hunters. Guys, that one's a good one. That guys, one's a bright one. I'm gonna need your help. Okay. Oh god. What? So because I want to post. I want to post uh my my Roosevelt's from the cruise. Oh yes. So who saw that? Did anybody see that? I'm giving I'm giving a moment. Okay. Um, no, but so the the thing the thing was, is, I I wore Roosevelt's more of like a like dressed up, mm -hmm. which I thought was like very unique in in the in the in that sense. You've been doing that lately. Yeah. So like wearing like slacks, with the with the Roosevelt. It's very like old school, like 1940s. Yeah. Kind of. It, like and, but Marlon it worked. Brando vibes. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it looked really good. And uh, but there was that, and then. Um, I took took some of the hoodie material and made my like a baseball tee. That one was really cool. So it was the Ahsoka. You made the the shirt itself was just like a I'm gonna post like a it. dusty blue. I'm gonna post it, but I need everybody to like tell Roosevelt, hey, we need to make this. <laughs> we need to make it because like it it was like that the this hoodie material is probably my favorite material. Like I, I love the shirts, but this hoodie material is just the best material and I having love a tea, it. tea of it is awesome my issue with the sh with the hoodies is that they're like baggy by nature i yeah. think they're just like baggy but they're in their unisex size so oh okay, i was so. wearing one yesterday i think and you're like why is it so big on you like what size is this i was like it's a small it's the <laughs> smallest one they have <laughs> but it's just because it's it's unisex i see carrie's been wearing her roosevelt's for for, is jury? It jury, jury? <laughs> that's amazing but yeah your your teacher you made it so here's the thing like let me hype you up for a minute because you okay let me hear it you he this man made the hoodie so he got a like a he had two hoodies that he worked with he had one that was like a solid hoodie and then he had one that was the ahsoka one and he took took all of it apart which actually it could we could have made a dress out of what was left of it and i'm 
kind of hoping you will do that <laughs> or maybe make me like a bathing suit or something. But you took the material and you made sleeves. You found a pattern for a baseball shirt and made an entire shirt, like the collar, the sleeves, the sides. And it compared to like your jackets and things that you've made, those were probably more intricate. But this was a hard material to work with. Yeah. And you did it and it looked amazing. He says, did you get that Ahsoka material from that guy at Mosh? Uh, no. Okay. It just, any, just any, I didn't get it from anybody oh. in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you have a hookup <laughs> in Orlando? Uh, let me see. Jeremy says, I would buy, we had a short conversion about this, or conversation about this on the cruise at the end of the swag exchange. If they make it, I would buy it. Oh, there you go. We got one endorsement right I there. I think it would make look for a good swim shirt. So you could have, if they made, say, like Ahsoka shorts, right? And you could have a full tux. You could wear the tux, or if you wanted, that would be like a good swim shirt. Because it's like good material it, it, for... It, well, that's the thing is like, it, like depending a on, on how you like to wear, like I'm thinking like at the parks. We went to the parks and I love wearing this material because it's so lightweight and breathable. And then it covers, mm -hmm. but some people don't like to have full sleeves. Yeah. And so you would want short sleeves and then you wouldn't necessarily want a, a hoodie with it, like a short sleeve shirt. So, you know, eliminate the hoodie, eliminate the sleeves. It's a T. So it's an I idea. Think, it's an idea. I think you did a great job so. with it. So we're going to be posting about that at some point. We've been like really terrible about posting well, we're, 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 we're catching up. Like, I think now that like, we don't have a trip plan currently. So currently, no, um, not for well, we do. We always have trips planned, but like not for for a little while. Some time, yeah. thankfully. Um, but we never really did like deep dive posts into the the cruise either. I think the only thing that we actually posted about it were the three group photos, and then like Sunfield collabed me on the picture of me and Naomi in our. Oh, the bathing suits. In our bathing suits. But, like, I don't, I haven't posted the picture of us on the beach or the swag swap or, like, videos that I just happened to capture, like, during the cruise. Like, yeah, I want to, I want to post all A little bit stuff. of catch up and stuff. I'm just, like, I don't know. I'm just, social media feels like a chore right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I enjoy it and I enjoy being on there. But it's just, I think, because we had so much travel and, and trying to plan for the next trip. And I've got other big trips that I'm trying to plan right now and just, like, of getting our feet back under us after like the prep for all of that and just the come down off of a trip i'm just like oh, i just want to exist <laughs> i just like to exist for a bit and yeah. then we'll get back into it yeah no i mean i think that's what it was i think it was just like for a good while we were back and forth back and forth non-stop so like oh, for, from from mosh orlando it was just kind of like pretty consistent yeah, because even before, I was on a cruise the whole week before yeah. that. So, like, very, very busy 2024 so far. So far. Which is good. I, I think it's good. I think it's... It's great. Yeah. Who would have thought? Oh, my God. Complete tangent. I didn't even tell you about this. We were, I was in a workshop, like, all morning, and they we broke out into, like, these little breakout rooms, and it was small groups, and you had to find one thing that everybody had in common. Well, it was a global call, so I'm talking to somebody in London, I'm talking to somebody, like, in the East... And we're trying to find similarities across the three of us. We're complete strangers, <laughs> right? And so it was like a fun icebreaker or whatever. Ours, whatever, was it was whatever it was. But we come back together and we have to share like what our commonality was in our groups. One of them was like, oh, yeah, we like to <laughs> – we love travel. And like my family and I try to travel um, at least within the – like we like to travel once to twice a year – but, you, you know, usually it's like within the state of Texas, and which uh, can feel like you're going to like a different state or whatever. But they were like, our, our thing we have in common is travel. And I was just like, oh, we, <laughs> we've traveled a lot this year <laughs> in comparison. But I mean, it's for it's part of what we do yeah. for this. But it just it made me laugh because it made me think back to when we like first got married and we would only like we didn't travel at all like yeah. you had not been on an airplane until our honeymoon and we would really only go on one trip a year and it was like a long weekend for our anniversary but I, it. I think it's because at that time we were like well especially the eye like very much like you know head down 
you know, kept working type of like mentality. pandemic changed us. We're like, we're taking control of our lives. I, I, I it, it truly did. It, I think it, it made, made me realize like, Hey, you know, the only thing we can't get more of is time. It's time. So well, for me, it was my dad passing away. Cause like, I mean, my dad passed away when he was 81 years old. Like he lived a nice long life. Like it wasn't like, Oh, he was taken too soon from us, but it was like, dang life can like it can get taken away from you at any moment so yeah. let's let's go and enjoy it and if we get these opportunities let's let's take them because you may not get that opportunity again um so but yeah it just made me chuckle i was like oh god we travel so much <laughs> <laughs> i should have been like i've i have stepped foot on four cruise ships this year and it's not even the end of q1 <laughs> Later, Chad. Um, but Ken is here. I was uh, going to talk about Ken for a second because oh, I worked on. To, uh, oh, happy Dad anniversary! Marco. We just years. we call y'all Marcat Mar when we because <laughs> that was their Marcat Ventures was yeah. their like their Star Cruiser name. But Ken is on here. I helped book a cruise for him today. So. In addition to cruising, and we're not, we won't even say the name of the new ship, but some of the later itineraries for 2025 have been opening up this week. So tomorrow they'll open to anybody that's like wants to book them. But if you've been on at least one cruise before, then you were able to book like today. And I was telling you about this, but basically like whatever your castaway club level is. So anybody that went on the Wish Upon a Star Cruiser cruise a couple weeks ago, you're automatically a Silver Castaway Club member. Yes. You're in. You, you're going to get, next time you go on a cruise, you're going to get fun little lanyards. You're going to get a bag. Like, they're going to give you, like, fun little swag. But you also get a few extra benefits. So you get to book your activities early, um, and you get to book these new itineraries early as well, and a few other things. But, um, but yeah, so I was helping Ken book a, book a cruise, and... I had to, because of the way I had to do it, I had to call it in. But anybody could like go online and do it, except Disney IT <laughs> was messing up today. And you had to input your Castaway Club member ID in order to get the, to be able to book it. Um, and if you didn't do that, then they couldn't validate that you were able to book early. And so you would have to wait till tomorrow. So people that like really want certain suites or certain itineraries or like just very specific things, like you want to get in as early as you can. It was, I was on hold for like 40 minutes calling through like the travel. I called through like our earmark preferred line because we're, we're earmarked agents. I waited 40 minutes, but they were telling me that people just calling in to book themselves that weren't using travel agents. The wait was over three hours. Oof, but when I tried, because I initially just tried calling the main line because I was like, well, I don't use like the fancy phone lines. I just tried calling and it was dead like the it was like a busy <laughs> signal and i was like what is happening and so i like i had I, I, that we just that means people are excited i think people are excited but literally like it it was like star cruiser all over again like remember oh. when we would call and it would just be like a busy signal you'd hang up and dial back because that's what it was the lines were full dang crazy that's nuts. crazy um people love cruising yeah and now we get it yeah get a little bit of it <laughs> as long as I could bring some of my friends 200 with me. 200 of your closest friends. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was that was a bit of today. That I thought that was, it, it felt a little bit like Star Cruiser, but it wasn't Star Cruiser. No. Womp womp. Um, but yeah, Roosevelt's dropped their new line yesterday. I think it looks really cool. And I like when they do them in women's. I love when they do a short, like a tux, and I love when they do a women's cut. Cause yeah, those are more fitted. <laughs> um, what were some of the other things we had? Oh, the amount of times I have received this in my DMs today. Oh, okay. True Moo, a milk company, <laughs> oh. <laughs> has announced that they're coming out with blue milk to be wow. sold in the grocery stores. Wow. I think it's... Is it Star Wars yeah. Blue Milk? Okay. It's Star Wars Blue Milk. And it's got like a little like lightsaber duel on the, the label now, of it. I wonder if it's going to like any of the recipes that 
we have seen or if it's a another. I think it's like vanilla vanilla milk. Somebody said it was vanilla flavored. I don't know if it's just like regular milk. This blue. Okay. So So it is literally blue milk. I will not be. If it is just regular old milk, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. My little tummy, I don't think, could handle straight blue milk. Well, good for them. Like they, yeah, they like, said, we're going to make it happen. <laughs> you can buy blue milk in the grocery store. How, that's super fun. Now uh, you got to just get that plastic jug that. I'm just going to show up had. as Betty <laughs> in the grocery <laughs> store and just like fill up my <laughs> The milk, the jugs. <laughs> I mean, I could. No, I wouldn't do that. You know, what's funny is, like, I am Betty Bantha, the blue milk lady. I don't like milk. You only like blue milk. I only like blue milk specifically. Chocolate milk I'm okay with. Our dairy milks, as our daughter says. The chocolate milk. It's our protein shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Bantha wants legit blue milk. Yes, absolutely. Um, But, yeah, that was funny. It, it got announced at some point today. But we haven't talked about. We talked about Imperial March, but we haven't really talked about what the Imperial March is. So it was a takeover of New York, basically. Well, well no, no, but I think I think that was a different, like, that's the Empire something. I, I think Imperial March is basically the campaign of them. The, the, the March to May the 4th. March to May 4th. But I think what they so were like, doing oh, with that's it. That's why Hasbro dropped some stuff. The Milk. Uh, Star Wars is... Doing this empire state building, yeah. So thing. they did. They did a takeover of the empire state building. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Okay, that sounds really weird in my head right now. <laughs> the empire. I think because I'm trying to think of like imperial, so I'm like those yeah. were not long enough words. But they did a a takeover the empire state building and projected Star Wars onto it. There's videos out that came out like maybe an hour ago. Look amazing looks super fun yeah. um, it's very reminiscent of uh hollywood studios yeah of the what was it galactic uh galactic it wasn't galactic nights galactic spectacular there you go, that's spectacular. what it was um yeah justin got to sunfield got to see it in person uh, but they had that they had hayden christensen go and like funko i think sponsored the takeover of the empire state oh, building so they had like a giant, like life size Funko of Darth Vader and Anakin, or not Anakin, Hayden, like right next to him. Um, there was like a lever that Hayden got to pull <laughs> to like do the takeover. And they did this like huge install in the Empire State Building. We were watching a video yeah. about that earlier. So they like they made a really big marketing push for this. So what I'm hoping, because we we started off this live stream talking about how it's feast or famine with Star Wars news. This it, this week feels like an overwhelming amount of Star Wars. And then, oh, I mean, okay, so we did Empire, but then they also dropped the key art for Celebration, which is the thumbnail. Yeah. But how badass does that look? It just like that simple, just Vader with this like cherry blossom. And like the the brush strokes, yeah, the brush too. strokes. Like, oh my gosh, like it just. I'm gonna be super. I'm gonna be super real with you. I am excited about the fact that celebration is gonna be in Japan, and so that gives us the opportunity to like go to Japan and go explore and everything. But for whatever reason, I have just in my mind, like I cannot get hype about it. Like, I'm excited for it, but, like, you know when you're excited for something, but you're also maybe, like, so stressed out about something that you can't not, you can't be like, <gasps> this artwork it, well, it's made me that the, way. It, it's, it's probably the idea that if it doesn't happen type of thing, because I think that's the hard part is, like, you'd want to go so bad that if you didn't, then you'd be disappointed. Yeah. So you're just not letting yourself get excited about it. Maybe. But yeah, seeing that artwork today, I was like, oh, okay, this is this is gonna be good because yeah, they're was... honoring the they're honoring the country that it's in. Yeah. But still keeping it Star Wars. Like I think they did a beautiful job with it. Yeah. And it's again, it's just a single 
you know, piece of artwork. It's not even like the whole, like we haven't seen. That may not even be the badges. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, they, they, we haven't seen like a portion of it, like no. what they're going to do. So it's exciting. Um, but tickets for celebration go on sale May 2nd. It's going to be uh, this decision as time. As soon as I saw. It's decision time. Yeah, but as soon as I saw that they were announced, like the, today's big announcement was one, that art, and then two, when tickets were going to go on sale. I instantly was just like, <laughs> 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 it's so stressful. <laughs> it is so, so stressful when there's things like, you know, buying celebration badges or buying like uh, when we were buying Star Wars Nights tickets or like when we bought celebration tickets for Anaheim, because that was the last one we went to, we had a group, we were on like a, I was on like a six way phone call with a bunch of people and we were all just like, just get all the tickets you can. I think I'm the one that got through and got the tickets. I don't even remember. It was just like a haze of just like, how much time does your running man have left? And then just like crazy, just like type your stuff in as fast as you can. Um, I mean, that's what it is though. It's like, you have to be quick on those things. You do. So while we're talking about celebration, let's let's also talk about D23 because D23 came out with oh, some yeah. news today too, or this week. And D23 is expanding outside of the Anaheim Convention Center. And it's not necessarily have, Star Wars. It's Disney. Disney. Disney the umbrella. Um, but they're expanding outside of the, the convention center to the Honda Center to... They're going to have stuff in Disneyland. They're having all these different areas where they're going to have things. They're very big, large panels. The ones that are usually held in like the biggest, I think it holds like 5,000 people or something in there. They're moving that to Honda Center and they're doing that in the evenings. The way that you can purchase the tickets is tiered by price, but it's also tiered by the level within Honda Center. So Isn't if you it want like to be, reserve seating too? I don't know if you reserve your actual seats or if you're just like guaranteed to be in that level, but there's like level 100 seats, which is like the floor. There's like the lower section, which is like the 200s. And then there's like the 700 sections or the 400 sections, whatever the, the upper sections. Um, and so you pay more, the closer you get to the stage or the lower you get to the stage. Um, which is interesting. And if you don't want to have access to the Honda center at all, and you don't really care about the big panels, then you basically you get like a much cheaper ticket because mm. but it's really i think it's really nice because it, it is but then as before like before it was kind of like okay i could wait it out and i could be in a great panel now it's you could be there but you're gonna pay you're gonna, you're gonna pay, pay a pretty penny but you could also be waiting in a basement for five hours and, and not, not get in yeah so at least you're guaranteed like you're basically swapping your time for money um just like because just like life just like just like individual lightning lanes <laughs> <laughs> but i i like it i pri i am learning to prioritize my time and i'm willing to pay money to save me time on things like we had a rope drop strategy for animal kingdom and we're like we're gonna go rope drop and our son was like i want to do flight of passage and it was like we're going to have to be there like the first people at the park in order to rope drop flight of passage. And it was like, you know what? We'll buy the individual lightning lane for you and him to go do it. Me and our daughter will stay out. Yeah. She's too little for it. And we went and rope dropped and rode Everest four times in a row. It was a good time. Good, good time. times, but it was worth it. It was worth that money to be able to do all the other things. And I think the way that they're doing the D 23 tickets, it makes sense to me. Some people are panel people. Some people aren't. Yeah. Um, and before we were all paying the same price. I can I could go either way on it, but right yeah. now I'm, I enjoy it. Also, having had had to sit in the basement when we won the lottery, we should have had seats oh, to the panel, yeah. and we almost didn't. We were some of the last people that they let in. It was very frustrating, and so it's like, if you're paying, you're getting in. Like you're guaranteed to get in. And but I what if you pay that. and they? It's one of those situations. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see riots. <laughs> will occur <laughs> but yeah I, i'm very curious to hear we're we don't have plans to go to d23 but i'm very curious to see how that plans out or as of yet out. as of yet who knows 
No, we got a lot going on. We got we've got way too much going yeah. on. And then other, I mean, so the other kind of it's not Star Wars, it's space spacey news, but the solar eclipse is like passing over soon. <laughs> so everybody like that's been on my mind lately. It has been on your mind yeah. lately. Where were we the other day that it was like you can buy solar eclipse glasses? Yeah. It was like the ones that you put on to look at the Christmas tree. Where were we? I think it was like the grocery store. Maybe. Oh, it was the grocery store. <laughs> Uh, but not like I'm just now starting to see a bunch. Like, I mean, it's not like it just popped up out of nowhere, but just starting to see more of it, you know, talks of it more lately. Yeah, so. well, because it's what April eighth or something, but it's it's flying over, not flying over, like the. <laughs> well, it, the, the I'm not the smart enough for it. trailers. Okay, the <laughs> how do you expect of it me to it's going to be over? Over San Antonio and Dallas. Dallas. Um. And so one one of the friends that we hung out with in Orlando last week, they're they're going they're in. going and they have like a whole itinerary. That's really cool. It's really neat. I love that. Um, but yeah, we haven't. Uh oh, <laughs> Galen. <laughs> um, Get on that. Yep. But it would be neat. It would be neat to go drive and see it. Just chase it. Yeah. Although last time we drove up that way, there was like a huge forest fire, oh, and yeah. that was the scariest driving through. <laughs> it was just like like I really thought that the flames I think were gonna just like hit our car. Just doing like long distance driving like that, especially like in on Texas. the road, like you never know what you're gonna get in Texas. Yeah, just being on the road, just between towns, it's just. I mean, country we, right we there. could go and go back to Meow Wolf and Grapevine. Go check that out. We did it once, though. Yeah. It was just too busy. We went on a weekend, and that was a terrible idea. But the one in Houston's opening up this year. Yeah, it is. I'm excited for that. Because uh, we can go during the week when it's not as busy. Yeah. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. Um, do we have Mosh News to announce? Because, uh, I mean, like, Celebration came out with some art, and when their tickets are going on sale, I would just I would stay tuned. Is it our Imperial, Imperial marching? <laughs> or We're marching the... all the way to San Diego. I'm just saying, stay tuned. There oh. is going to be news. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There's news coming soon. I've got graphics on my phone. Can, can we see it? Do or? you want to see it? Can we I see it? I can show it from here. I got beans. Let's see. Actually, I haven't caught up on this this is why you follow Princess and Scoundrel. So that way you could get that sneak peek. Is Adam still in here? Can you see that? Anybody see that? Oh, oh. That's all you get. You want to see it? Oh. oh, my gosh. Those color schemes. Let's see what else we've got in here that I could show you. I think there's one more. You want to see what's going on tomorrow? Uh, maybe a little bit of that. Oh. oh. So yeah, stay tuned. If not, well, I don't know. I don't actually remember when we were <laughs> we were gonna do it. <laughs> it will be, I think tomorrow. I think we're announcing tomorrow, Monday at the latest. You'll know. You will know more soon. That's Finally, good. we didn't let uh, Hondo have his way this time and sell our tickets nine months in advance. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> We were looking at it because you know there's there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes before we can actually like put tickets on sale. So I was referring back to what we were, had done last year, and it's like the same weekend because it's it's San Diego Comic Con, and I think we put tickets on sale like February fourth or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that would have been like uh wait when was that was Orlando? Mosh Orlando? Yeah, I was like it would have been the day of. Yeah. Because I, I think literally that was when it was. Oh. <laughs> you can't see it. It was glared. <laughs> I didn't think you were in here anymore either. <laughs> but yeah, there's some there's some fun stuff coming. Uh, I th yeah, like I said, I don't remember the exact our release date, but you're going to see some stuff pretty soon. But yeah, we're not doing them uh, crazy, crazy early. That's. The big thing. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's going to be a good time. I'm excited. It's at the same venue that we had the last one at, which we have announced that. The uh, 
<laughs> Danny said he zoomed so far in and couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I showed it so small. Um, but yeah, it'll be at the, it was a great venue. It was a good spot. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be a very Star Wars heavy year. If we're doing this whole Imperial March to May the 4th. Yeah, they're just like. That's a very long hashtag, by the way. The Imperial March to May the 4th. To San Diego Comic Con, to Dragon Con, <laughs> to <laughs> House of Con. To <laughs> we be marching. Just keep, we're marching all the way through 2024. Um. But yeah, so we've got that coming up. I think that was those were the big things that we we had. We had a lot going on the last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know if we'll do like a. I know there's some things from our trip last week that we want to talk about on the podcast. Oh, Brent, that's a good a good point. Um, he says got so many compliments on my mosh mall misfits shirt at a flogging Molly show that I went to last weekend. Thank you for wearing our our mosh merch but we had um we have a mosh store that's up all the time so if you go to an event and you see something that you want and maybe you didn't pick it up chances are that at some point it will be on the mosh store we just released pretty much i think everything that we have now on the mosh isley store um so if you're wanting like the mall misfits shirt that's up there the we we didn't discount the narkina t-shirts and our mosh hoodies which i love our hoodies i think they're great you yeah. cropped mine for me and so i wear it like all the time now and it was super clutch on our trip last week because that was what i wore because it was like chilly in the mornings um but then when our kids would get cold we could put it on them and it wasn't dragging to the yeah. floor either so it actually worked out um pretty good julie's asking where are you guys celebrating may the 4th you would think we would have plans. <laughs> we don't. We're we're still waiting to get uh invited to the ball. Aw. Uh, oh look, we uh I want to call out SB transmissions over here. Oh hey. I think we're gonna have to hit them up for the High Republic. Oh yeah, they, they do a lot of High Republic. They stuff. They do a lot of High Republic stuff. Um. So. We'll but have to yes. make sure we like see what what they could decipher from the acolyte trailer can you give us some cliff notes please but may the 4th yeah we've there's like we have some plans but we also like haven't committed to anything because we do have thankfully we don't have like much travel the next few months but it's like well it'd be kind of nice to just be home oh the other thing is because we are now like home for a good long stretch um we're spring cleaning over here yeah, we are. Yeah, like, big time. Like, throwing beds and rugs and clothes. Like, and don't. You know, I, I think it's making space. Like, just, like, reorganizing. Because, again, I think our craft room has exploded. And so we're just. Which one? Well, just, it was <laughs> the craft room. And then it went to the our dining room. So we're kind of, like. Our poor, like, yeah, our craft room. Make it more of a dining room. I mean, a. A craft room again. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be a dining room again. But you guys are going to do the all day Star Wars marathon. <laughs> 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 I would be. I. I'd fall asleep. Are they gonna? But they're gonna have. Are they gonna have that in the theaters? That could be pretty cool. That would be fun. My little baby bladder. I don't know if it would last. But yeah, our craft room has AP. moved. Like, <laughs> I bet you Adam told Mike Sarah's talking mosh on the stream <laughs> <laughs> although Hondo would have had this it would have been up already it would have already been up we would have sold tickets before Orlando yeah um, yeah our craft room has moved all over our house I think it was in one of the kids rooms and then finally when we had a second kid we're like alright well let's move it over here I lived yeah. there briefly, and then it just, we've always, like, sp it's all spilled up. Oh, it is all, literally all nine movies in the theaters. Yeah. I mean, that could be a lot of fun. I mean, I could do it. I don't know that I could. Maybe. 
No, but how long? We didn't no 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 no. Didn't we do this when we said if you watched all nine movies, how long would the runtime be? We talked about this on oh, a live wait, stream. Maybe before. it was like twenty four hours. It was twenty four hours, but I don't know if that included Rogue One and Solo. It may have. No, I think it's just the nine. If it was just the, it, but it was well, oh, but it was like twenty seven hours or something. Somebody do the math. Math is not my strong suit at this time. Mary, confirm it for us. Please. Um, oh, New Hope. Let's give a little bit of love to New Hope Workshop over on Instagram. I don't know if you're still oh. in here. He it's 19 released. hours. Oh, okay. So then with Andor and Solo. No. But it wasn't. It's was nine movies. I feel like it was 27 hours. Like it was literally impossible to watch all of it. That Maybe that's all the movies. Maybe. They're releasing three a day. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um. But this isn't something we didn't talk about. They, he is here. Okay, New Hope Workshop is over on Instagram. But on the anniversary of the Star Cruiser opening, he dropped the Chandrilla lightsaber hilt. And we got to see them in person. Oh, yeah. Um, when we were on Batu last week, there were a couple people there that had them. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Like, stunning, stunning work. Um well, and I think the thing is, is like it's so. It it it, it looks like the one that you could get on Star Cruiser, but just an adult version of it, if that makes sense. Like a, yeah, it's. <laughs> it just looks more like more pro, like clean, it's like like yeah, it was. It's incredibly well done, absolutely beautiful, and if <laughs> like with all of the stuff that's happening right now, with March first, there were so many people that were paying tribute to star cruiser the hilts were coming out we were on the cruise people just like posting like their like remembrance like sad like grief posts of like oh this was so great um and then now like with this week with the imperial march and with the news of the acolyte and new bat we haven't even talked about new bad batch episode. oh yeah i mean with all of these things that have come out, celebration, all of this, like it just feels like so much information at once that I'm afraid I'm going to start forgetting some of the things. Like I forgot about the fireworks. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's the that's the part too. Is like, you know, we're we're talking about all these other things, but Bad Batch is still going on, and so like we're watching that. Like we're in the midst of Star Wars, How and we're you... still talking about other Star Wars. So I don't want to talk too much about like this most recent episode because I don't know if everybody's watched it because we literally had to watch it um, eating dinner tonight, <laughs> like right before the stream because we're like, oh, we need to watch it in case somebody brings something up. But how are you liking this season? It is a lot of story development as far as it's not like this one so kind of felt of, like is what you're saying. No, 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 no. Like. Like the first three episodes is very like cinematic, right? Yeah. Like it, it does like a movie. Mm -hmm. And then the, I think the next episode, three, it was, a, it was like two episodes where it's just like kind of, uh, you're seeing cross out, crosshair, which I'm so glad. Like I didn't think, I thought they were going to like make him go off the full deep end. Now we're seeing him like really like come back. Yeah. But it's like, having to build that trust back and and with the whole the brothers like you know reconnecting type of thing and then yeah. you're seeing the whole empire kind of see these clones as just things as weapons and not as people and the clones realizing that they are being treated like that but then you still uh as last episode, the last episode, like you still see that they're some of them don't realize that. Oh, yet. yeah, yeah. So, like they're being made aware of things. Yeah, like they, like you were in the midst of them coming to realization that the Empire doesn't care about them. Right. I, for this being the last season, I feel like when I said it was boring, it's, it's not, it's great, but I feel like the pacing is really slow for this being the final season of this show. Like I'm wondering what, but it's not. What a, is it gonna to this? A, this last episode is the first one that felt like uh, the. It was like a monster of the week. Yeah, monster of the week type episode. Literally, and all the other ones have been more like a connected story. Yeah. 
So or they've like been it's more a full like arc. They've been more arcs yeah. before, but I don't know. If this season feels to me a lot more like Clone Wars, um, because the story is developing a lot slower. And with Clone Wars, you had so many. You had twenty four, thirty episodes a season to develop that. And I think we're getting like seventeen episodes with this one. But it's just strange to me that this is the final season and that the story is moving as slowly as it is. Yeah. I would have expected more build up and like we still don't we kind of know what they're building it, towards, but the the other thing, the last episode, did we was that like a, a known thing of when it was coming out? Oh no. We uh no. Had it been pointed out before or we I just, don't know that it had been pointed out before because I think we just learned about it when we were in Orlando. Yeah. So like apparently uh, the last episode is going to be aired on May fi- uh, May 1st. So 501. 501st. 501st. So very deliberate, I think. I think just like that alone just makes you feel like, oh. Yeah. Because I wouldn't, I would not have thought anything about it if somebody hadn't pointed that out. Like, yeah. I think that's really cool. If that was intentional that way, and that's maybe that's why we got two episodes last week so that they could hit that date. Yeah. I think that's super neat. Um, but yeah, that's, it's been a lot of Star Wars. It's been a lot of Star Wars. It's been a lot of Disney news. Um, we have, they did announce it today that they're, they're bringing, can you, Brent says, uh, Stephen, can you make me Rex's cloak? In the sixth episode. I gotta look at it. Oh, yes. That looks good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one was good. I called that one out. I was like, oh, I like, I want that. (laughs) Isn't that silly how that's how we watch Star Wars now? I was like, I could do, I could have that. That would be nice. Yeah. Well, like, oh, yeah. I want to talk about the last episode. Um, But yeah, it's, it has been an eventful month. March has been eventful for us. I'm hoping April calms down. I mean, it's. Right there into May, so we gotta we gotta start cleaning this house, getting this house back in order. Yeah, I'm excited. So, but all right, Justin must be excited. <laughs> they probably did it just for Sunfield. Yeah, so we gotta pick his brain to see if they're doing something for it. That'd be fun. He's probably like NDA out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> probably so. Get him, get him sauced up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Galen hasn't had a chance to watch a new season. Yes, Galen, you need to watch it. Yeah, it's good. It's really enjoyable. It's just it, it the story is slower moving than yeah, I, I think just because it's very somber in the whole like it's not Yay, everything's good and happy. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. That's where it's not like you're very much like, ugh, like It's like moving into the third act of a Star Wars trilogy where it's just like everything's a lot heavier than it was yeah. in the beginning when it and Nick always says like what was it? The first season felt like it wasn't a kid's show. The second season felt like it was a kid's show. And now we're here and it's just kind of like, oh, this is yeah. this is some serious stuff. But I think that wraps up. We made it. We made Slash it another stream. applaud. We made it. Another applaud. live stream in the books. Thanks to everyone. <laughs> I forgot. We oh, didn't we. even cover that. We, we toured another cruise ship. <laughs> We went on another cruise ship. We did. Oops. Uh, we didn't go on a cruise. We yeah. just like toured it. But okay. no. Anyway, we're out of here. I got a the goblin's getting off her her lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. I, I thank you. Instagram. Thank you. YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure out what this M count stuff is about. I've heard of it before. Um but thank you guys. Check the socials. Uh there's always probably something, always probably something. So make sure you check it there out. You go. You're just like Justin Bieber. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>